Hi everyone, Steve here from Imperial Light Magic with another Padawan 360 build. Uh, this particular person that's ordered this is going to be using Ryobi power tools for their droid. So I am testing this with a Ryobi battery, as you can see. Um, this is one of my uh, pretty standard builds. Transmitter is on, as you can see. Um, always turn your transmitter on first. And then, if I can do this one-handed, we power that up. You can see we've got about 19 volts. And... Uh, in a moment or two's time. There we are, right on cue. Uh, the system has connected. So we've got all our sound controls on these buttons as usual. Now, this is actually a stereo amplifier. You've got two outputs. I've just got one speaker attached at the moment for uh, testing and proving purposes. So uh, we have our Siren 10 at the top left. Oh, I should have mentioned uh, the person's initials is DF for this. So thank you very much. You know who you are. Uh, Sabretooth 2x32. And then we've got the Arduino Mega, which allows the expansion potential, uh, potential of uh, something like a Maestro board. Uh, we've got the shield on top with the correct AHC style chip uh, soldered in place there. And uh, MP3 trigger. That's about it. We've got our receiver over there. So for testing, I've got a uh, geared motor over here, as you can see, which would be the equivalent of the dome, which is on the right-hand stick. And then the drive, I'm just using my ALT droid. Now, as always with these, uh, with Padawan, if the circle of lights is spinning, it means the drive is disabled. Um, so what we do is we push the start button and we get so, uh, segment number one lit up and an audio confirmation that tells us we are in speed one which as you can see is kind of quite controllable should we say left and right etc etc so if we do that we take it out of drive so we're safe again but we've still got dome and sound controls over here so let's go back into drive we'll click down on the thumbstick segment two is now lit up which gives us a higher top speed it is still proportional so if you go a little bit on the stick it will go slower now obviously you can accelerate and then finally if we click down on the stick again uh, we get another audio uh, confirmation and segment three is lit up now now gives us uh, full speed um, available to us uh, and again if we click it down one more time we go back to speed one so we're nice and sort of controllable. Um, and that's about it. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, another little trick I don't often show on the videos is if you wish to turn off the transmitter, you can do so by holding both shoulder buttons and then pushing the middle button at the same time. I'll try and do that in one go if I can, using my knee. So hold those, tap that, transmitter goes off, and obviously the system is now safe. So if you turn it back on, just push, push the center button, and in no time at all, Yeah, we're back and connected again. Uh, shoulder buttons also change what kind of uh, sound the buttons do, etc. etc. Do the other shoulder buttons. You get, again, different sounds again. Uh, volume overall can be controlled by holding the right shoulder button and then tapping up or down to increase or decrease the volume as you see fit. And that's it. As I say, this is on a Ryobi 18 volt power battery, uh, power tool battery, and the system works absolutely fine. You could literally stick anything from 12 to about 25 volts uh, without making any changes whatsoever. There is no need to make any other voltage regulation changes. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Thank you, DF, for your uh, kind patience for waiting for this order. And this one is ready to go. Take care. Bye for now.